Okay, hello muffins. Um, this is different, right? I'm doing a video. Um, I'm at work right now and um, you know, it's not really that busy tonight. So, um, I have something that I need to speak about that happened at that happened at the job. Um, it doesn't have anything to do with the job, but the incident happened at the job. Um, but I'm not going to specifically say what happened because I don't know if this person watches my weight loss channel. I have a lot of people who follow me um, on my weight loss channel at my job. So, I mean, I mean, not my weight loss channel, my beauty channel. And I don't want, I don't know, I guess I don't, I don't need the drama at work. Okay, so let's just start with the numbers first. Um, I had my surgery at Montevideo Hospital December the 31st, 2014. I always forget to mention the year. My highest weight and re my highest recorded weight was 262. My current weight now is 168 and my goal weight is between 135 and 145. And I did want to touch on that um, for a moment though. Um, what I want to talk about is, and I know everyone has talked about this, especially being um, in the weight loss community and when you've lost a lot of weight. Um, people look at you differently. Um, some people look at you as an inspiration. Some people look at you um, through a different set of eyes. Um, if anyone who knows me knows that I am a very confident person. I have always been confident, even at my highest weight at 262. Um, this weight loss journey or weight loss that I've done, it, it, it hasn't changed who I am as a person. I'm still that outspoken, outspoken person, that no-nonsense type of person, that loving, caring, and kind type of person. So the weight loss has not changed who I am. It hasn't changed me per se. I think with others because of their own insecurities and the way that they put um, put you in a box when you um, I guess when you do things that are differently, when you look different um, maybe they perceive you as being cocky or stuck up or something like that and it's a shame that along with this journey, no one really understands what and how it is to be, to go through this life being obese, not unless you were on that, on that path. Um, we get a lot of judgment. We get a lot of mean remarks. Um, I can, I can't count how many times I've run across fat comments um we just had a dumb bitch lady who did a video about dear fat people um and then the dumb bitch did another video um dear black people and i guess with her putting latoya into it it's supposed to mean it's some type of okay like i don't get that shit but both of them are, are drama filled um you know there's a lot of memes there's a lot of negative things that are said about overweight people and we you know we're we're normal we have feelings we bleed we go to work we inspire and we just you know I started this journey to be healthy that's it that's it um dealing with the health issue that I have I totally believe that my weight had a lot to do with it I mean a lot to do with it and making the decision to have weight loss journey wasn't an easy decision. No matter whether people were on my, you know, on my side or not, I didn't do it for other people. I don't need people being a cheerleader for me because at the end of the day, I'm my own person. You know, I have my own struggles and journey to go through life. And it kind of, um, I just look at things as a different perspective when people make comments and say certain things um, it's quite shocking though because it lets me know that you don't know who I am as a person and granted I mean it takes years to get to know someone but 
I don't know. I, I don't. I don't understand people putting labels on people. You know, you put labels on people, and you have your own assumptions of people in general. Um, but in this weight, you know, this journey, losing weight, it not only affects your weight, it affects your family, your friends, your emotional level. Um, it just affects so much about your life. And it either could be a positive thing or a negative thing. And this weight loss has been a positive thing for me. No matter all of the problems that I've ever went through with this, I'm really, really grateful that I had the opportunity to have this weight loss surgery. Um, and... It hurts when, I'm not going to really say that it hurts, but it's just really shocking when people, people are so negative about it, you know. Um, I, I had a inkling that this person felt this type of a way, but to actually hear it come out of their mouth was something different. Um, I'm not going to make this video too long because I am at work, but I'm going to do a part two to this. Um, it'll probably be in a little while. I think someone is actually standing at the door listening to what I'm saying. So, muffins, I'm going to cut this short and um, I'll come back later on.